Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2! When we last left off, we had done something! Not quite sure what, but we did it. Um, God, what, did, what did we do? Samara. That's what we did. Well, we didn't do Samara, we did Samara's mission. So now, it is time to go and help out dear old Thane with his problems. And then all that shall remain is Tali. And won't that be exciting? So, we shall go to the Kytadel, and everything will be fabulous. Yes, yes, we've seen that. It's all very exciting. So, who should we bring with us? We should bring Thane, and we should bring... I don't know, Thane doesn't have any friends either. None of these people have friends. Garrus. We'll bring Garrus, because he knows the Citadel very well. Logic. So? Shabams. Beautiful. Um, that's going well. I believe we can sort out your concussive shot. Bang. Thane, I haven't used you either. You and Samara are just part of the no use group because you suck. Whoops, I didn't quite mean to level you up that much. But hey, it's fine. Come on. There we go. Everything is fabulous. How are our weapons doing? That's all very good. I need to itch. Lovely. According to CSEC reports, Harkin was taken into custody and charges are pending. That's the least that bastard deserves. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Very good, very good. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Excellent. So, ooh, Thane, what have you to say? You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I know c -Sec too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Excellent. So here we go. Let's see what Captain Bailey knows. Yes? My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. Tee hee. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades. Broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. Is there any part of this game in which children enough. don't die? The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. 
You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. This game has more off-screen killed children than The Legend of the Pied Piper. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked to Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Okay, so let's go meet Mousy McMouseton. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Ooh, a model of Sovereign. Don't mind if I do. Should I rebuy my fish? I shall think about it. I don't want to put them through any unnecessary risk. Not after what happened to them last time. <laughs> oh, fish! I could have sworn I'd only done mission one mission before I fed you. <laughs> but something went wrong and you died. Oh, I need the VI that's available in Mass Effect 3. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, you jerk. Hopefully Thane's mission will give me some money, and I can pick that up. Let's go chat up Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. No problem. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. No, that's no, fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You won't be disappointed. Well, I just need a bit more time. It's not my fault. Nobody told me the package was in two parts. Yeah. I know. I'll get it. Don't worry. End of day, no later. You can count on it. I... I understand. That, that won't be necessary. I'll throw in a copy of the Shepherd VI. Hey, the Volus worked real hard on that. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you. Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I, I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? <laughs> they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. you always done right by us, but... I ain't gonna die for you. So your people... had an obsession with unnecessary apostrophes. I'm glad they all died. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy and we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Vols who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. 
I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Cole yet ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead in future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then, but I left him as I left Cole yet. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to bit. Back to bit we go. Everything will be yo ho ho. So we need to get in touch with this Mr. Elias Kellum and find out what he knows about the stuff we need to know about what he knows. And the only way to do that is to know what he knows of where he knows he is. Right, yes. Bailey? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Mm. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. Stop with the awkward silences. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain? His lawyer's here. And Elias has his VI set to page him if c gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Oh, pardon me. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? You have the worst facial hair. For that, you will die. Hey. Okay. So basically, it's near enough impossible to do this as a paragon for some reason. Like, um, if his lawyer gets in and shuts the whole thing down, then you'll end up having to bribe them with money, and, you know, that's inconvenient. But um, if you want to get the information out of him via interrogation, you have to basically be a jerk. Paragon just doesn't work. You've got to jerk him into submission quickly. And no, I did not mean that the way it sounded. You ordered a hit on someone. You're going to tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works.